from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Howdy, neighbors. We appreciate you watching early this morning. It's 47 now past the hour. Upper Saturdays, lower 80s for most of the area. There's some variability with that. And then a high this afternoon, 102. Ooh, it's going to be hot again. Uh, both today and tomorrow, we have some heat advisories today. That means the heat index is back up there. The heat index numbers would be from 105 to maybe a size 109. And I'm anticipating another heat advisory tomorrow. That's ahead of a front. It's going to change. This brings a couple of showers and storms into the area. Just slightly breezy at times. And then we get a break from the heat Wednesday and Thursday. Friday and Saturday comes up just a little bit. We're back into at least the 90s. But then another front arrives Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday. And this, I think, is a pattern change that will have uh, some benefits uh, going into the future here next week and possibly even the week after that. Uh, these little fronts that we've been dealing with uh, over the last, you know, couple of weeks around here, they just give us minor relief. We go right back to the really, really hot weather. This one might be a little bit different. All right, more on that uh, coming up as we get closer into it. But the weekend, 94, Friday, Saturday at 93, Sunday at 87, and we'll have a chance for some shower and storm activity. And we start the probabilities tomorrow uh, with our first front. <clears throat> it's not exceptionally high, but there will be a few showers and storms. Then look what happens here. We get into Saturday in the Sunday area, and this is what we're talking about. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly even into Thursday of next week. The potential for some showers and storms, then it'll bring not as hot weather. So more so tomorrow, we get into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, we have a chance for a couple of showers and storms. This is due to a front that will move into the area. Darker shade of green is a little better opportunity, which would be near Clearmore, Prior Vanita, Miami, across portions of Missouri, northwestern Arkansas, the eastern sections. And then along this boundary tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, there will be some scattered showers and storms as it tries to float from the north to the south. This is the severe weather risk assessment right now. It kind of looks like most of the severe weather threats would be in this general area. We may eventually just kind of push this all the way back along the boundary. It's not exceptionally high, but it's, you know, it's not totally zero either. So we'll be tracking it as this ridge moves away from the area. And we have some changes that start to show up for uh, the middle part of the week. So here's the hour by hour forecast. Noon hour at 96, three o'clock at 102, six o'clock at 101. This is today. And then it'll just slowly drop down uh, through uh, the 90s, through the early evening hours. It's going to be pretty toasty here. So highs in your hometown today, 102 in Tulsa, 100 to 102 in Pawnee and Pawhuska, 101 in the Stillwater area, 102 in McAllister, and we'll be in the upper 90s in the far eastern areas. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start in the 70s. Tomorrow's the hottest day coming up. High of 104 to 105 around the Tulsa metro and a south breeze at around 10 to 15 before that front approaches the area. So, yeah, the early week heat, but today and tomorrow, Wednesday, we get some relief, a high of 83. We'll take that, 89 on Thursday, and then that next front over the weekends could bring some changes that will last for several days next week.